Hi ladies, I just wanted to come on and show you what I've been up to. So I've been making some um, belly bands out of guest checks. And um, extending them a little bit so that they would reach a full page in, in my journals um, are usually um, like eight or eight and a half um, height. I'll show you one that I did here in my journal. Haven't done a video in a few days, but this one here I did and I just extended the bottom. My journal's getting nice and fat and I love it and it's squishy. Listen to it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I'm just making a guest check like that. That, as far as I know, is my great. I think it's just one great. It may be two. But I think it's my great grampy on my grandmother's side. He was a Doherty or Duggerty, uh, Doherty or Duggar tea. I, I think you can say that either way. So I just thought we would decorate a couple of these together. Oh, and I also have been playing with some uh, pattern paper. And I did have a bunch, but I used them. Um, but they're little envelopes and they're just sewn around. And then I put like a little paper cluster on there. Some lace. I probably won't get to those today, but I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. What else? Oh, I cut out this whole stack of uh, Tsunami Rose Ephemera today. So I've been a busy gal. I'll show you these. I used one of those uh, paper cluster thingies that I sewed on and a Tim Holtz. I did find a couple of women. I thought I had used up all my um, <clears throat> Tim Holtz women, but I did find a couple more. So that was a nice little surprise. So there's one there. And then this is also a family member. I just don't know who. <laughs> so let's see, because these were copies of the original um, pho photograph. So I don't know who. Look at my nail. Well, they're not the cleanest, but uh, because I've been inking and painting. Oh, I, I have a pair of jeans that... I, I had bought some uh, fabric paint. This is the other thing I've also been up to. So this is the leg part of my jeans. I don't know if you can see that that well. Because I'm in the light, that's why. I don't like the butterfly that much, but I can always go over it. But I did that on one side. I want to do it something similar on the other side of my other pant leg. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, what else? I sent out two of my um, giveaway winners packages today. Um, today is Saturday, the 28th of March. Um, I, st I still haven't received the third winner's um, address, but she did send me an email, and she had a little bit of a freak accident. So I'm giving her a little bit of extra time to... Um, Leave me her uh, address. So, 
Let's decorate a couple. Well, we'll see how many we can decorate or embellish. I'll pull out two. <clears throat> Set them right there. So I hope everybody's hanging in there. Uh, I think these ones I might stitch around. And I would like to round the corners of these ones. Just because something different. I was the only one at the post office this morning. Well, I went in pretty early. They opened up at 8.30. So there wasn't a big line behind me waiting to mail their stuff out or receive packages. So I didn't feel rushed or nervous or anything. So that went well. Um, I have no idea what I want to do. I know I'd like to use some of this ephemera that I cut out. That makes it so easy to have a piece of ephemera to just throw on, you know. Well, maybe what I'll first do what am I going to use? Maybe I'll use some um, coffee stain graph paper. Sorry, the tripod leg is right, right on my, right on me. <laughs> so if I hit it, I apologize for that. And shake the camera and make everybody dizzy. <sighs> I feel so out of breath. I don't know why. I'm not sick or anything, just allergies. cut me down some hours so that's kind of disappointing really disappointing But let's keep this video nice and upbeat and happy. <laughs> I will try. I will try to do that. Nobody wants to go to a channel and listen to them. I don't know. Be down on themselves, I guess. It might be a little too long, but that's okay. We can always trim it down. So I'm 
just going to use those pieces for here just to lengthen um, lengthen it to fit the size of the page. And also at the bottom, you know where it's perforated there? I like to go, I like to turn it around. And I like to go just up to that first line with my paper. So that I, to put glue, where is my glue? Right here. Um, so I know that where it's perforated, it won't rip. So I just put my glue like that. And my paper extension right there. And then at the top, I just do a thin line. Like that. So then it's extended a little bit to fit your page. I did that in the, the um, baby journal that I was working on. And I really liked how... Um, the guest check came out with those extended pieces on it, so I thought we would do some together. Hope everybody's doing well today. Probably a lot of you ladies are watching YouTube and, well, I'm just guessing, maybe watching some movies for you, um, you ones that have to, you know, that aren't working and have to stay home. I am just guessing that you're watching movies or maybe doing some spring cleaning or uh, I don't know. What are you guys doing to stay sane? I would like to know if you're not out, you know, if you're not able to get out and go to work. Uh, or, you know, are you okay being at home? and Or is, you know, is that the normal? And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I'm, I'm a homebody. I love being home. But... Every few days, you know, of being home, I do. And it's not to not that I want to be out in public. It's just that I have to get out and, like, go for a ride or um, <clears throat> get some fresh air, go for a walk. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I kind of like that a little sideways like that and I might I might just leave that overhanging and I might cut it I don't know but I like those colors of the blue and the red from the from the numbers on the guest check I like it a lot well let's see what else I think I might maybe might want on there this is a this is almost like a guest check. It says cafe on it. And um, what they had to eat or food items. So I have these little things here. I think I maybe might put one of them on there where it's a food item. I 
There's blackberry and raspberry. Hmm. Uh, still haven't cleaned my desk. <laughs> I was going to clean my desk one day, but I said, hey, hey, not today, because I don't feel like it. No, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I would much rather play. <laughs> Okay, let's ink around that. I'm going to use some vintage photo for this today. I re-inked my ink pad, so I'm sure it's good and juicy. So I have been newly introduced to ASMR. Um, I have no idea what the definition, what the um, real de definition of it is, but my definition would be it is a series of sounds and triggers um, that give you a certain emotion or a certain feeling to those sounds. And when I first seen it, I thought, no way, this is so weird. This is so weird, but I gave it a chance and I like, I don't know. I think I told you guys in the past that I suffer with, um, anxiety and, uh, panic disorder and, um, like being in big crowds of people and sometimes I could just be at the grocery store and it could happen. You know, I just get in that head space where everything's not okay. So, um, the ones that I've seen there's this one girl, she's called ASMR Glow, and she's a beautiful girl, um, but the one that I saw, I, don't, I can't remember the name of it, but I listen to it at night. I, I, um, I don't think I need the visual, um, the visual part of it, because she does visual, too. Um, but I have to say that it really helped me relax. Kind of like, uh, it's called guided imagery. Where if you were, guided imagery is like, if you were to type in on YouTube, guided imagery, and... Uh, I don't know, say at the beach, then they have all kinds of videos of, um, the one that I had watched recently was at the beach and a woman very softly spoke and it was like she was describing everything around, like the sand and the sound of the water um, hitting the, the earth, you know, the sand and the sound of the seagulls in the background. And um, it was just very, it's very relaxing. So that's kind of what um, 
my definition of ASMR is. So, I don't know if you ladies have heard of it. It might not be your thing, and that's okay. Because at first, I thought, what is this? <laughs> uh-uh, not for me. But, I did give it a chance, and I'm still quite new to it, so... Um, and they do like role playing too. Um, like a librarian, they will role role play or a hairdresser. Uh, where do I want this? I don't know. Maybe right there. But I kind of do want something up here too. I'll put it right there. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. I get talking and I get sidetracked. <laughs> so if, if um, any of you ladies suffer with, you know, anxiety, depression, Maybe that would be some, you know, it's an option. You could check it, you know. What do you get to lose? That's what I told myself. What do I have to lose? Try it. If you don't like it, then you never have to watch it or listen to it again. It's your choice. All right, I, I do want to sew around this. I don't know if I want... See, look, I found some little ladies and women and girls. Oh, look at these cute little girls. Aren't they just the sweetest little thing? I don't know if they would look good on there. Hmm. I kind of like it with them down there. But I don't want to put them too far down there because I don't know how tall this is. And I don't know what size page. I know I know it'll be eight. Yeah, see that's a little over eight. So I don't want to put them all the way down at the bottom. So maybe right there. Hmm. Oh, the bigger girls look better. I like that. What do you guys think? Do I need a little bit of fabric or lace? Maybe a little piece of this. Maybe, oh my gosh, see, look, I got talking so much. We're up to almost 24 minutes. That is crazy. So I guess we only had time to do one. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of that right there. I better snap to it, huh? Because I want to show you what it looks like after it's sewn. Let me put these little girls down. Let me glue these girls down and I'll be right back. Put you on pause for a minute. Okay, I glued down the little girls and I also did the um, little fabric piece we had. And I'm just going to take this over to the sewing machine and sew around it. Um, I, first, I'm going to measure it so that it's 8 inches um, I knew, I know I have to take a little bit off the top here. And on the bottom. I think, let me measure it. 
just very little at the bottom. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go sew around that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that all sewed around. Looks like that. And then right here, down here, I wanna put a few little gems or bling. And then we'll call that one good. that and like that okay thank you ladies so much for watching and listen to me rant on and on um about asmr <laughs> it might not be uh anybody's cup of tea but um check it out and see if see what you guys think you probably already know about it, and I'm late to the game. And there's what the back looks like, but nobody's going to see the back because it's going to be put in as a belly band. So, alrighty. See you on the next video. Bye.